Guys, hello guys, welcome to a bit of a progression video for me here in Skyforge, just running by my might and prestige, and that is because I've been saving up some items that are part of a new update for Skyforge that is designed to let new players reach and perhaps even take over the end game from the existing players and it's pretty exciting we have a tower of knowledge we have a cathedral these are places where we amass power in terms of might by doing different things and by completing daily directives you can get these here development projects and what they're going to be doing is they're going to be boosting these really really important buildings in your like cathedral so that you get a lot more might whenever you gain a new rank here you're going to be getting more power more might and these new items that you can get on a daily basis are going to give you beep loads of might so what i hope to be doing in in this video here is just showing you guys like this is what i have been grinding up i've been busting my beep for three weeks in skyforge and i got a little more than 100 prestige and because of this new update, I hope that in three days I'm going to be going from like the hundred and something thousand that I have to probably five millions or something crazy like that. Uh, because boosting up the bastions, boosting up the Tower of Knowledge, that is simply going to give me so much might that I'm going to be able to get from Generation 1 items. And basically, like if my calculations are correct, in a few days I'm going to be at Generation 5 meaning that I'm going to be going from items that give me like 1x multipliers on two things to 10x multipliers, perhaps even more. So the amount of power I'm going to be having in the game, the amount of strength that I will have, is just going to be crazy in a few days compared to what it has been up to now. And I've been stashing up on this instead of using it so that I can make this really crazy hammer forward. Bastions give us more than just might. When we gain more power in the tower, we just gain might. It doesn't really affect us in any other way. But when we get these bastion upgrades, we actually gain new abilities that we can also use in the game. We gain new symbols and we gain new passive abilities. And here we can actually see some of these new symbols that I have unlocked just like right now. Like months worth of grinding before this upgrade i just got in a few seconds for completing a few of these directives before starting up this video here and now i have i mean we're talking months of of grinding and that was what i was doing before this update was was added so it's pretty crazy i'm really really excited about this because i could see how i would have had to be grinding for more than a year in order to catch up with some of the end game but because of this new update here, because of this crazy new update they have added to Skyforge, new players are going to be able to catch up with the existing endgame. Not just get up there, but the existing endgame really, really fast. Doing these daily missions to get these rewards that are each worth months of farming. The way the update is made is really so that it scans your account and it checks out how far are you from the end game and then it determines some amount of time it wants you to be able to spend in order to catch up with the end game and that is what the reward is based on based on what i could read about the update so pretty pretty crazy exciting news and yeah, i have ad expect and i can like so many new things that i can do in the game and i'm super excited about it as you can see i've completed these these crazy things to get these items and i just wanted to add this uh this video here for reference because I have like I said I've been playing daily for 10 plus hours in Skyforge working my way so hard up to these 100k in prestige and I have a really good feeling that it's gonna be millions in a few days and I'm pretty hyped about that because oh yeah I've been having so much fun I've been having so much fun in Skyforge that's why I play it but there are so many things I've been unable to take part in because it's like way out in the future. You know, end game raids, stuff like that. And now I can feel it. Now I can feel that I'm going to be closing in on that. So that is super amazing. I'm just running by the different bastions here to check out my progression after having used these items here. And it's it's like completely bright new open world. It's it's super cool. I'm I'm really 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 hyped about this. I only have two hundred eighty five thousand prestige right now, so I didn't gain that much power. It would seem, but if you look at my might amount, fifty k, 
that is that is the big one because that is what is going to allow me to get better items and these better items are going to boost up my prestige so there is like you need to if you don't know how skyforge works there is a huge difference between might and prestige might is your core value and the more might you have the better items you can get and the better items the higher prestige because the items multiply give you a multiplier for your might that then turns into your prestige so it's like it's a bit of a kind of thing but that's <laughs> super exciting um so so yeah i just i kind of wanted to share that and of course we're going to be looking into these other things that i have now that uh, i have been recording because these are actually things that you also get for completing the directives these rewards for service they give you a reward based on your uh premium kind of score in the game and since i haven't been spending money in the game i'm getting the lowest possible value of, uh, of chests and that's okay because i got the power to reach the end game and that is like that is the important thing the other stuff doesn't really matter but i'm getting credits and stuff like that that i don't really need knowledge of enemies credits it's the same as junk but it's i mean it's okay <laughs> it's better than nothing so yeah all right so guys that was pretty much what i wanted to share in this video here just a little bit of an update to those of you out there that are like thinking about playing skyforge or just starting and you don't really know what this uh, this new stuff is it's a power boost like crazy do your daily directives get these bonuses they're gonna like look at this stuff here i have generation one equipment and i'm gonna be generation four right around the corner generation five it's gonna be crazy I'm pretty hyped about that. Hopefully, I'm going to be sharing some uh, some dungeons with you guys very soon, where I'm going to be farming some of the new gear. And uh, yeah, this is stuff I need to do as well. Anyway, guys, that was pretty much what I had on my mind in terms of of this video here. So, uh, if you're interested in the new directives, how they're going to make you stronger, they boost up your bastion, they boost up your tower of knowledge, that gives you more might. More might will allow you to get better items that boost up your prestige. So that was pretty much the summary of it. For now guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.